क्या आप फॉरेन जाके एडमिशन लेना चाहते हैं क्या स्वदेश फिल्म देखते हुए भी आप विदेश के बारे में सोच रहे थे क्या आप जब भी एब्रॉड की ट्यूशन फी के बारे में सोचते हैं तो आपका मन में सिर्फ एक ही कयाल आ जाता है कि अब नहीं मानेंगे हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्रो प्लस दिस इज अनिश नंदली के इन दिस वीडियो वी गॉट एवरीथिंग कवर टू गिव यू विंग्स फॉर योर जर्नी टू स्टडी अब्रॉड वी विल लेट यू नो द स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड टू हेल्प यू स्टार्ट योर स्टडी अब्रॉड प्रोग्राम सो आर यू रेडी फॉर दिस Studying abroad is a global experience with students crossing countries, continents, and even oceans to get the best education possible. Like my dad used to say, "Har roz nadi thair ke school jaate the ham." But have you wondered why choosing to study at a university abroad became so popular? The truth is, studying overseas has many benefits, from helping you find a good job to improving your social life, and obviously. <laughs> Studying abroad is a life-changing experience. It's a chance for you to try something totally new and scary. You laugh, you learn, and you live a life to a degree that you wouldn't have been able to do before. It really is a roller coaster. कर नहीं जाऊँगा मैं. But hold on, it's not all rainbows and sunshines. But the challenges you'll face will help you grow. So without any further delay, let's quickly jump to the very first step. One. Know your motive to go abroad. Knowing your motive becomes very important because it helps you determine the why. Does walking beside the Thames River with a chimney pot tempt you? Do you want to explore Times Square during the New Year's Eve, or simply just having a green card fascinates you? Let's take a few examples. For some of my friends, the sole purpose of going abroad is to secure a PR and settle down there. While for my other friends, the motive to go abroad was to meet a lot of new people, learn new languages, experience cultures and build relationships. So in example 1, the motive was to get PR and settle down there, while in example 2, the motive was to be exposed to a lot of cultures and people but not ultimately settle down there. So you should be very clear with your why because going abroad is a big step and it requires a lot of money. Bhai paisa ho to kya kuch nahi ho sakta. So let's assume you have figured out the why. The next step is to decide on the budget. Two, deciding on the budget. While studying abroad is exciting, challenging, life changing, empowering but it is certainly not cheap. This is why it is very important you have that open conversation with your parents to understand how much money they are willing to invest in your education and how much of a loan you will need to fund your education. Sharks, I'm looking for only 1 crore in debt for my new venture bahar jao dollar kamao. So, who's interested? बेटा आप बहुत पैशनेट हो इसीलिए मॉरली आई एम विद यू बट फाइनेंशियली आई एम आउट देर आर लॉट ऑफ कॉस्ट वेन एवर यू आर लिविंग अब्रॉड वन ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव टू पे द ट्यूशन फी टू द यूनिवर्सिटी बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ऑल्सो अकाउंट फॉर योर मंथली एक्सपेंसिस लाइक रेंट यूटिलिटी पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड मेनी मोर बट डोंट वरी देर आर डिफरेंट कंट्रीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द बजट यू कैन स्पेंड ऑन एडुकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट स्टडी इन टॉप टायर कॉलेजेस ऑफ यू के यू एस ए ऑस्ट्रेलिया देन यू इजीली नीड अ बजट ऑफ अबाउट थर्टी फाइव लैक्स बट लेट से योर बजट इज मच लोअर देन यू कैन लुक इन टू यूरोपियन कंट्रीज वेर द एजुकेशन कॉस्ट इज वेरी लेस और समटाइम्स इवन फ्री Yes, you heard that right. Absolutely free. The only caveat is you have to know the language of the country and of course take care of your personal expenses. Once you have figured out the motive and the budget, this is when you can choose the country, course and the university you want to get into. Which brings us to the next step. 3. Research. Start with the basics. You can go to the baba of our generation. But hey, don't go to your mom and ask which baba she follows. The baba I am referring to is Google. You will find a lot of YouTube videos, blogs and personal experiences shared by different people who have already studied abroad. If you are confused about where to get started, try to find the category of course that you would be interested in. Is it fine arts? Is it technology or engineering or is it finance related? Depending on the course, look for what interests you the most. Once you have figured out what category of course you would want to pursue, then you can find countries which are well suited for these categories. For example, if you would want to pursue a fine art related course, then it's not ideal for you to go to US or Canada because these countries are well known for engineering and tech courses. 
Similarly, Australia is well known for medical courses and UK is optimal for business and finance courses. But before you lock in the country, it's very important you know about the culture, climate, living expenses, food and lastly, discrimination rate if any. Do understand US, UK, Australia are not the only options. If you're looking for affordable and good quality spots, you can also look for Norway, Germany, Switzerland, Denmark, Belgium and Spain. Toda mi vida como tu once you have figured out the field and study and country, it is time for you to research about the colleges offering those courses. You can start researching about the course on their website and also talk to admission officers. You can attend some college admission fairs to network with like-minded people or the best way would be to talk to an existing student from that college. You'll get an idea of the college and the country. Finally, shortlist 5 to 10 colleges that you would want to target. Now that we have a list of colleges that we would want to target, it's time to get working for the exams. Four top exams to be given for study abroad. There are majorly four study abroad exams. One SAT. It is for undergraduate programs and the questions are asked related to maths and English of class 12. Two GRE. If you want to pursue masters in science and technology, then this is the exam you'd have to give. Three GMAT. For management and business related courses like MBA, MIM, etc. 4. IELTS, TOEFL, PT. These are compulsory English language tests you would have to give. To study an English thought program in a foreign university, you'll have to first show evidence for your English language proficiency. You see sir, I can talk English, I can walk English, I can laugh English because English is a very funny language. Most of the universities accept one of the certification that is IELTS Academic, TOEFL IBT or PT Academic. International English exams evaluate four main skills that is writing, speaking, listening and reading. Once you have figured out these things, it is time to move on to the next thing that is Kagas. Hum kagas nahi dikhayenge. What are some documents you'll need to make this study abroad plan a reality? The documents required. Majorly, this can be divided into four parts. One, application necessary files like LOR, letter of recommendation, SOP, statement of purpose, transcripts of 10th, 12th and CGPA mark sheet, work experience proof and lastly your CV. Jo please kisi se copy paste mat karna. Dunia se kaho copy da! 2. Supporting documents which includes passport size photo, income proof, collateral if any and college ID proof. 3. Financial documents which include university fee payment, loan disbursement statement, bank statement along with scholarship details if applicable. 4. Travel documents which include passport, visa, Indian identity cards like Aadhaar, PAN card, driving license and most importantly health insurance. And after completing this momentous task of collecting all the kagas, it's time for the next big step. We come to the biggest concern of students. Ye kacha badam ke steps kaise yaad honge? No, not this one, but the high fee structure. So you definitely need to know about. Six, how to finance your study abroad plan. High fees has always been an entry barrier to Indian students. In order to deal with this, there are some things that you can do. Firstly, Sit down with your parents and understand how much money they can provide for your study abroad plan. Will they be able to fund the education completely? Tumhare paas aur tumhare pitaji ke paas dunia bhar ka paisa hai. Or would you need an education loan to finance some part of the study abroad plan? You can also look into various scholarships provided by governments, NGOs and the universities itself. Governments have introduced several schemes and financial aid programs to fulfill students' dreams which are scholarships, grants, student loans and many more. So browse through the university website to which you are applying. Almost all universities have information about scholarship programs, financial aid and other funding options. There are different types of scholarships available for people who want to study abroad. Some of them are scholarships based on merit, scholarships for research and athletic achievements, scholarship for low income students and scholarship for underrepresented groups. Do note that these scholarships are very limited. So start researching as soon as possible because being an early bird will give you an edge over the others and increase the chances of you receiving the scholarship and even a higher chance of you hearing this from your parents. Shabbas, beta. Lastly, a pro tip from our side. Keep in mind that even though you have amazing grades or an impressive SOP or LOR, 
always apply for more than one universities it's true you might get into that one university you applied for but what will you do if you do not which is why always apply for five to seven universities one more thing make sure that you apply as soon as possible possibly when the applications are open that is in the first round itself this will increase the chances of you getting an admit and you'll have a lot of time to apply for scholarships as well and that's it you're all set to go abroad excited you should be you're about to begin one of the most interesting fun empowering and also difficult chapters of your life but remember you will be a much better person by the end of it and i hope aap sab apne babu ji se sune ja simran ja jee le apni zindagi for more life enhancing content like this subscribe to the growplus channel hit that like button and if you have any topic suggestions or questions drop them in the comments